guys this thing has the uh, carburetor fixer in the back of it came with the truck put the rest of this back here and then see right there carburetor fixer she'll run now Morning. We're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. Is she on? Is she on? Oh, I think you're on. Here we go. Got a new camera, guys. My audio is messing up on the old one. Uh, so hopefully we have good luck with this one. We are back at it again. And uh, now, what did we do last week? We went out to the salvage, okay? And on the second channel, we did a little, some other stuff, all right? So check out that second channel. We bought a little Ford Courier. We did some dirt work, guys. I'm a tree trimming machine, okay? Machine. I'm so good they call me the machine. Uh, now this week, once again, strapped and pressed for time. And I... I had too much fun out in the salvage yard last week, guys. I had so much fun that in fact, we're headed back. That's right. And when we get out there, we're gonna buy every damn thing in sight. If it came with wheels and tires, we're interested. Except for that rendezvous that I did not know how to pronounce. No, we're not, we're not going to buy a whole lot of stuff, but there's a vehicle Slick's interested in, okay? There's other parts that I, passed up on. There's a vehicle or two I kind of spotted when I was editing last week's video that I didn't even look at. And uh, I threw it out there for the whole world to see. So we gotta go finish gathering all the parts we want before they're gone. That's what happens when you give away one of your honey holes, okay? So we gotta go finish getting the old honey out of this hole. Now, speaking of honey, if you like sweet stuff, just head on over to the www.puddingsfabshop.com that's where we got all of our t-shirts. We got all them cool stickers. And boy, howdy do I mean cool stickers. And we appreciate the support from you guys there. Now to head out to the salvage yard. Uh, hell, I forgot to mention, I think we may even, we may have to get a part or two for old Mordecus. Sir Mordecus of North Dakotaville uh, requested some parts, so maybe they're still there. Uh, we're gonna take the Torola for day one out there where we can hopefully drive through the salvage yard and not get stuck. So she needs a little preparation for our junkyard adventuration. And as you come back here, uh, hey, I got a plan for you. Uh, I do believe that crane's gonna go with us now. Uh, maybe, maybe you guys can tell. Let's see, it rained pretty good the last two days. Uh, sun was out half of yesterday. So I bet in some areas out there, it'll be a little muddy. And mud's okay with us, and before I forget, yep, I'm gonna grab us some ratchet straps. And let's get ready and packed up. And if you guys don't like going and playing in a junkyard, I don't know what to tell you, because you wanna talk about fun? I love days like today, love it. one the poor Torola <laughs> she's getting so tired guys we, we may have to retire her before too long should say that so loud she's gonna get pissed at me now as I pulled this old work truck in here uh, I seen her jump pack right there and kind of got me thinking what if we took a battery and a jump pack and you know a little bit of gasoline and we just did some quick will it runs out here yeah you kind of like that idea or no well too bad I like it, so we're doing it. Take some gas, battery, couple little jumper wires. I mean, the bare minimum, guys. And I'm not saying we're gonna spend all day on one, but we're gonna, we'll hit these babies with some speed rounds. Just pow, pow, pow. Just some quick ones, guys. We ain't doing deadly till we get ready to go out there. Slick 50 
I think he's coming with us guys, but I gotta get this rig cleaned out. It's a mess. Boy, I've been looking everywhere for them. All the locking pliers. Oh, good old triple ball hooker. Looby dooby. I don't know why I'm unpacking. We're taking most of this. <laughs> Go! Charge jump pack, that's good. A little mobile death wheel. All of our empty bottles of water. Uh, I mean, we're literally gonna take everything in there, so I don't even know what I'm doing here. Let's go power tools in here. Impact, all the little wrist savers, sawzall machine. Basically, if it can save us some headache, we wanna take it. And we don't wanna forget the old tire inflator. Now, these guys out here at St. Louis Salvage, uh, they got, they're set up to pull parts, guys. But obviously, if we just went out there, we didn't pull our own stuff. We don't really get content. And I like pulling my own stuff. I mean, it's part of the adventure, guys. So we want our old tire inflator because you just never know. I'll leave that cardboard creeper in here. We may need it since it's muddy. Got a hammer and a torch. Hopefully, we won't be using fire. And hopefully, we won't start a fire. But uh, you know what? We'll take a fire extinguisher to be safe anyhow just in case safety first Whew. Whew. that battery ain't that heavy it's carrying the battery one-handed and dragging the jack from in the back that'll get you i forgot slick brought this battery over yeah we'll take three. Oh, she's loaded now then we got to get her maybe we'll make one run kit the electrical tape, wire brush, battery terminal, cleaner, whatever. Kniffy, gotta have a good kniffy on you. Uh, little fingerboard. I mean, basically we should be able to get anything running with that right there. I'm gonna get us some channel locks, little wire strippers, Pike County speed wrench. Essential to any good parts pulling trip. Need some locking pliers and some snippers. Throw in a couple screwdrivers. If we can't get it going with that, then we don't need it. Uh-huh. I'd say this is due for cleaning too. <laughs> She's the girthy rhino edition. That's the fourth can of luby Dooby I found in this car. <laughs> I just found a set of points and a condenser. No clue what it's for. Just a little grass in there. Now on the bright side, you can never have too many waters, guys. You wanna stay hydrated. I think I got everything loaded up back here I want. Got quite a bit of crap, but I'm sure I forgot something. I don't know we would need this out there, but who knows, maybe we would. Perfect. Get her picked up where she ain't hanging so low. anything else guys at least she looks badass we may not use it but at least she looks good speaking of use it this cylinder ain't even good or it may be good i just ain't got it to bleed yet so we may want to do a little swap rui yep just a little light thing here yep both of these we should be good to go back in business baby stow her away uh slick's gonna be here very shortly and we're gonna hit the old dusty trail our back tires may be already rubbing if uh someone was smart whenever they built the lift kit they probably would have done it with new struts instead of ones that had a uh, hundred and sixty thousand miles on them <laughs> 
Yeah, she's doing all right. I don't hear nothing. Just don't turn. I <laughs> <laughs> like. I don't hear nothing rubbing. If you give it gas. <laughs> Let's just say we didn't make it very far. Uh, <laughs> by the time you add a case of water and a couple, a full tank of gas, uh, it's pretty pissed off. Perfect. Find that old gas station pizza clean off the dash a second ago. <laughs> second ago and we could smell rubber even though we were going 65 miles an hour see old sammy got the old five ton betty out front that thing is bad ass there's the number by the way if y'all can't see that i don't know what we're gonna start with maybe a little parts pulling we want to do some speedball will it running so we might have to do that first who knows me and slick might have to do some will it runs on the little electric four-wheelers and take them for a rip through here <laughs> Yeah, I figured it may be a little muddy back in here. That's why we're in this overloaded piece. Oh, slick. Does that get y'all excited or she what, got her buddy? All pulled out. Yeah, I'm excited about that thing. I had to have it. So we tried to talk slick out of this thing. Tried to, or he tried to talk himself one day. Let's see if she pushes. Pusher versus pusher, slick. Probably in gear. I think you can push him home. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna have a flat slick. I don't even see where she's rubbing. She rubbed all the way from Tecumseh. Oh, no. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. pusher versus pusher action. You don't want none slick. Not today. <laughs> uh, we're going to ditch our crane. I don't think we're going to tote it around with us. We'll maybe set it off here. Now, speaking of setting it off here, uh, I knew I left this damn thing out here. I knew it was going to be sitting right here, too. <laughs> I remember you saying that the other day. Yeah, that's funny. Dang. Get your little dinosaur hat slick. <laughs> built this to save my back and all you got to do is throw out your back to install it <laughs> it is what it is yeah i'm gonna be careful leaning in that there we don't want to hurt my patina yeah don't don't smack that fender in or nothing <laughs> sammy said we're good to go pull what we want to pull uh he said he's okay with us trying to get one or two running if we want basically said have fun uh now we're getting the vip treatment okay you got to pay top dollar for the vip here at st louis uh but he said where that corridor is back there is probably about the muddiest spot, so maybe we'll make it, maybe we won't. gonna make them tires earn it today the back's rubbing pretty bad and some of the stuff is pretty uh pretty gooey uh, now we noticed the old killer clown here oh she's busting out baby <laughs> ripping her way out that hood look at the flame job we didn't even see this rig the other day i'm not mad at the flames no they're actually not bad those look pretty good oh you dang right uh they've been with me after a trip to the taco bell <laughs> <laughs> so free advertising for the old passion works body shop <laughs> the jack in the back's kind of heavy we may have to swap it to the front where we can lighten our load on the rear again <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, just blame it on the trunk, you know. It'll give us better traction in the mud anyhow. She ain't going nowhere. Where are you going? Nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> oh yeah that uh that dip right there just told us sop 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 it put us to a dead stop for a second one of these days i keep waiting to see a trail of oil coming from underneath this thing oil pan out yeah oh. yeah it must have been when we fell right in there yep wow now some of y'all uh really seem to like this thing here me and Slick weren't even paying attention. Yeah, we were thinking W motor. And look, this is one of the big hunking V6s. Also, look, some guy was saying about the... That's where the... Holy crap. Spark plugs are. Yep. And that explains why there's only uh, six plug wires on it, you know? Logic. When your water pump weighs well, the same as the block does. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, that whole assembly operates your fuel pump. Everything. Everything. Y'all know who wants them valve covers? Old Sir Mordecus. And uh, any y'all don't know this, but he has something of mine up there, and I'm trying to convince him to bring it down to me. So we need a little leverage here, guys. We need leverage. What do we need to pull them slick? They're like, oh, yeah, they're not gonna be. Ain't, ain't no damn way. You know, put a Phillips in there. That's what you should have. A Phillips holding that on. I literally picked up a brand new thing of drill bits, and I said. Probably won't have to drill nothing out, so I put them back. I think I may have grabbed one stepper. Maybe. Something's ready to drill. <laughs> we can't figure out why we're rubbing everywhere. <laughs> About 40 drills. <laughs> oh, oh, yep. Don't take forever in a Monday to do that, though. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Did you grab that luby dooby? Oh, where's that? In there, too. Now we want to be careful with this one because we don't want to mess up the paint. This sucker was on fire at one point, wasn't it? Looks like something happened yeah, to it. Yeah, something bad happened. She's got one hell of a humdinger right there. Slick wants to try. Uh, I guess we can waste time. <laughs> yep. Stripped. Yep. Stripped. The things we do for our buddies and pals. I'm doing this like I'm giving them to them when I'm going to use them as leverage. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. Oh yeah, there she is. Use that old PB. Flick kept me with old nostalgic shirt right there. Yeah. Got a handsome devil on the back of him. <laughs> Dang, y'all see how good those look with a coat of oil? We may have to hit that with some old tainer sauce. Oh, yeah. I'll give GMC one thing. Uh, but it may not be the best engineering, but they knew one day someone was gonna have to drill these out. So they put divots there. That way you can get your drill down in there. That's how it's done, son. We don't want to wear out our bit. We got a few more to go. Oh, love tap will get it every time. Woo! Oh, she'll run. <laughs> That's a, look at that. Yeah, that looks like everything Mortsky works on. <laughs> That's probably why it was parked right there, that old bent vet, or, uh, push rod. Don't forget, sir. Oh, in that. Yeah, yeah that side, might have happened after, though. The <laughs> side of the motor's plumb blown out of yeah. her. She's got a good crack in her. Get that out of her way. Get her custom wiring, custom wiring hanger right here. That, uh, she's pretty universal, works on any and all wiring. Well, we are in Pot County. <laughs> <laughs> K-9 
can't even check the oil. Dude, I'm not joking. That it's thing is in, in there. there. <laughs> oh, the cow. Give her to me. A uh, slight rust issue right there. But, Mortsky, we got your valve covers. If you ever want to see them again, bring me my damn truck. <laughs> <laughs> yep, gentleman's courtesy lube. That'll free her up. Slick gonna grab that chain for him. It's a premium piece of chain to be sitting out here. It's got the hook still. I can't help it, Slick. We got to shine them up real quick. Have you ever found rare valve covers in the junkyard you need to clean up? If so, use them TKO hand cleaning wipes from the Sweet Patiner. These things are great at cleaning hands, and I'm sure they're going to clean these puppies up no problems. If you decide to go to the sweetpatina.com and try some of their amazing products, just be sure to use that old promo code on the screen. Hey, looky there. I'm making... That'll make a cool wall hanger anyhow, guys. Buff these f***s <laughs> out. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot we had damn tools everywhere. We kind of walked by these last time and didn't really look them over. Because uh, I guess there ain't too much to look over. But I didn't realize that was an El Camino last time. Um, did y'all know on top of these furds, they just put your, you know, put your coil spring and shock on top of your upper control arms. They're basically pioneering the way for struts. Just pioneering stuff, you know. I didn't even notice last time there was a damn Nova sitting right here, guys. The first cars, 73, 74 Novas, one of the first cars. Uh, that I seen Billy McGraw's orange one going through Tecumseh, and I was like, man, that's a cool car. And it made me kind of interested in cars. This side ain't terrible neither, as far as the body goes. A little cruise control action. Yeah, looks like it is. That's crazy. Anyhow, uh, last time we were out and about, we actually robbed some parts off of this rig, and underneath the hood was fairly complete. Let's show them slick. You pull, I'll give her the hit. Boom! Well, it was complete until someone robbed the radiator, you know? I don't remember it being so dirty. It's funny how when you get sun on it where you can see it looks brown. Yeah, because it's on the shade earlier. We robbed the lenses. This is where we got that little emblem. We gonna oh. change the oil or what? Oh. Hey, someone said that gear oil was to hide the knock in it. Are you serious? <laughs> so we're gonna speedball this baby, which means we're gonna check oil. And uh, GUD, that oil's good. Sniff it, Slick. Good. He took that one a little far. <laughs> <laughs> now what most people don't know is you gotta take off butterfly nuts, clips, and then once you get them off, you get 10 mils. <laughs> How that oil finally gets you? Yeah, not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Did it for the gram. <laughs> one thing about it, your breather was never going nowhere. Now the dirt daubers, they made it to the filter, but they never made it on the inside. What do y'all think? Should we finally let Slick use power tools around here? <laughs> He's always manually doing everything. Here you go, buddy. One of last week's video on the second channel, I dropped one of them down there when it was running. <laughs> Speaking of drop it down there, there goes them bushings. Guys, this thing has the uh, carburetor fixer in the back of it. Came with the truck. Put the rest of this back here. And then, see, right there, carburetor fixer. Oh, don't want to bust them up. They'll go down in there. There we go. She'll run now. Take your spacers off. Oh, custom spacers. Oh, it's gonna be like a seven. 
You know they ain't tight. Okay. Oh yeah, we don't tighten nothing around here. Yep. Y'all know I'm fancy and I brought that brush. I mean, cranking whatever's does that have slick? All of them. <laughs> All of them. Old daddy long legs, get your hiney out of here. Years of corrosion. Wired brush right out here. As long as she twist on good. Woo! That's a dirty one. Yeah, that was. Didn't this thing have keys in it? Yeah. Try it. Try it. Oh, yeah. That's good enough real quick. Real quick. I meant for now. Just got excited and didn't know how to talk. Let's just check spark. What if it has spark? Hey, win. Go ahead. It's sparking. It's sparking. Right. We're going to send gas down it. She's going to bust off. Coolant? Oh, no. Let's get her done 91. And we got the old, you know, sniper bottle right there. Trying to fill up her bowl here. That's supposed to be a sight glass. It's hard to see in there, but I did see fuel get in there. <laughs> Ready? Hold on. Our choke's wanting to close on us. I'm going to uh, switch open our little knife there and hold that open. All right. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's trying. Uh, she ain't the happiest. We can get her a little better than that, I think. Ready? Yep. We're gonna get her one good one. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it, guys. Uh, she'll run. Excuse me, sir. Do you got this truck for sale? Yeah. You mind showing me some of her? Key features. Here we got all the gauges. Gauges seem to work. All the gauge lights. Dang, those suckers are lit up. Yeah. See if the oh, got freaking a ain't, one, ain't one of mine got blinkers. Both sides. <laughs> Don't re-empty though. She might got fuel in her. You can uh, turn, some, turn some tunes on. I can find the station. I think it's AM only though. Yeah, I was lucky this thing won't hold an idle, or we would have slapped some wheels on it and threw this baby down into drive. <laughs> oh, our hazards are definitely working. Yep, we got brake lights and everything. So there you have it, folks. I've made y'all watch a wheel it run that sometimes takes them near two hours. Should only take about two minutes. So as much as I don't want to be pulling parts off of this thing, uh, because, you know, it's not the funnest thing, it's hard to find calipers for these. And we're going to assume those are good calipers, considering it was a probably running driving truck. 2008 ish and uh yeah we've got to get this thing up off the ground get some underneath it and then we're gonna start you know robbing some parts off the front luckily we got that quick disconnect jack right here on the front so bias ply ready to whip it <laughs> dang factory wagon wheel last time i did jacking like this i almost flipped that international over <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> Boy, we're in bad shape now. Yep. I may jinx us with that whole flip statement. <laughs> I think that's stuck. This time we're going to try to get us a better base underneath our jack here. Not that my rubber mat's going to do much, but Slick found an old drawer. She's got the built-in carrying handle. I should carry it over here with that. Round two. Okay. Good? Oh yeah. These are down. So now we want to get our creeper. I'm going to start with a little sawzall action here. Going for our sway bar in length. Then we're going to go up top to our shock. I like to get that burning rubber smell where it <laughs> reminds me of the drive out here. <laughs> 
That half inch drive sucker does not play around. Oh, see, Slick, we're supposed to find that chain because we're going to be dealing with coil springs so we can chain her for safety. Don't forget uh, the old uh, brake hose. Yeah, got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those you can actually get. So every time the parts house gets like seven in stock in the nation, I buy all seven. <laughs> so if y'all can't get them, you're welcome. <laughs> Holy cow. She's a... Yeah, look out. at this. What do you mean the steering's loose? Holy cow. Now we know why she got parked. She had loose steering. It damn near put Jeb in the ditch and he said, hell with that, I'm gonna park it. Now I know what you guys are thinking, if you want the calipers, why the hell don't you pull your two bolts and just take the calipers? And the answer to that is the first generation Corey Hearst, uh, this spindle allegedly, allegedly, bolts straight onto there and then boom, you get a disc brake kit. And I don't know if you can even get these rotors anymore and these ones, they could use surface, but I mean, we're gonna take everything we can just because. What do you think about putting this motor in the orange one? I got an orange one? Yellow. Oh. <laughs> I was racking my brain thinking. I was like, I got an orange one. <laughs> this runs good. I usually got pretty good luck getting these nuts off the spindles, but as far as our tie rod, she's gonna get the old slice feature as well. Matches the rest of that quality steering. These nuts are plumb filthy, so we're gonna kind of clean on them. Then we gotta get our cotter pins out. Here's our cotter pin. We're gonna go ahead and slap on our old safety chain we found. Probably not a bad idea to unhook that. We got her through the control arm back to herself. So we're gonna take this one off. And we're gonna beat it with that hammer. If you're going high impact, be sure to use your chrome sockets. Knock half the dirt off of it where you can see anyhow. Yeah. There she went. Woo! She had so much tension to knock the battery clean out of it. Three more hits. She's coming home with me, Slick. Ah. What if it would just fell off and I looked like a badass? <laughs> there she went. She's got a custom flat spot now, but that's how you pull a spindle. And we pulled the one off the driver's side. Just repeat process. Everything went about the same except for the... Yeah, the bottom on that one, we had to beat the devil out of it. It was on there. We bend the spindles, they're no good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dang it. Yeah, well, at this point, we should have took the whole truck like Slick said. It's just a sheet metal screw. There ain't nothing on the back. I can feel it. Just rip it off there. I don't know, they did have a little retaining clip. See that? Now, these may fall out of our parts bin, so we'll just put it in our little cubby hole up front. Get them windows down. Ugh. Let's get her in mud mode. Yeah, turn that AC off. We need extra power. Guys, what did Buick make that looked like the Nova? It's got the little fender vents. It says Buick up there, and I seen the Buick in the grill. That's what caught my eye. Buick. <laughs> well, they made a Pontiac. Same body, but I think it was called like a Venturi or something like that. Yeah. But I don't know what the Buick one is. I don't All think right. I've ever seen one. Y'all will know. Y'all knew how to say a... Uh, rendezvous and we didn't Ron so. Davis yeah. <laughs> Jeep thing baby yeah. gotta show these Jeeps how it's done <laughs> There we go. I just wanted to get up here with the other tow rigs. How many bolts did we have in the tires after we left? Just about 17. Holy bumper. Did that come off of that? There you go. That's what it's for right there. 
Yank. Yank. <laughs> you put that on something and yank. A slight variation of the Puddin's Fab Shop Blue. She's got the white roof. She's a big hauler, uh, so you know we like that. Yeah, she's plume stripped. Look how sweet them door panels are. Yeah, they're you, awesome, man. You gotta like them. She had one hefty bed on her. Got the dual toolboxes. GMC 4000. 4000. Did she have one of them big old V6s in her, too? That frame almost looks as strong as a Datsun frame. This thing has control arms. Holy control arms at that. I was not expecting that. So what? It's got a torsion bar into the upper control arm. Y'all see that? I would have guessed this thing had a 4,000 pound straight axle on the front. Big one. She's pretty cool looking rig, guys. Uh, Jeremy at the Sweet Patina, he's building one. His little tow rig. So hopefully we'll see that thing on the road before too long. We missed all kinds of good stuff right here, Slick. Hell with that truck. How about this low rider trailer? <laughs> Right over here next to our Ram Charger, uh, I didn't realize we had the damn Ram 250 full-size deluxe interior edition with the patiner top and stainless roof rack on her. You get them captain's chairs right in the middle. Of course, you know good and well that back couch lays down. Little ice chest right there for some roadies. Yeah, you can hide your drugs in there. There you go. I do shit like this. Everyone calls it redneck. Back in the day, they called it classy. Classy. Got a little air, airport tug right here. Uh, they made a lot of these out the Dodges. The concrete? Damn right, that's concrete. That's called a counterweight, sir. Keep them fire stones to the treadway. So you strip down pretty good, but these little things are awesome. When I was in the Air Force, the ones we had were a little newer than that. But yeah, I've towed a lot of uh, jet engines behind these little stubbies right there that hits home if you're in the air force or anything to do i guess with airplanes fod or an object debris you don't want nuts and bolts or you know rocks whatever going through your jet engines you see that crap you better pick her up and put her in the old fod box or an object debris for an object damage i guess it depends on how far the rock makes it first it's a piece of debris then when it makes it through the engine then it's damage Hey, their way. We're going to take that even though it's worthless. Actually, pretty nice. Isn't it? Try to flip flop that hood where it don't catch rain and rust out for somebody. Someone may want to build that thing. You never know. It's a nice little pickup now that I'm in the market. Yeah. She's uh, just about matches the shape of the other one, I guess. Yeah. Look at that old push mower. Y'all see that thing in there? that make a man out of you mow, mow your yard with that boy he's just got winches oh she had a set of poles on her that's what we like we are gonna have a pole truck probably within 12 months i'm gonna tell you that right now damn cadillac dream car right there now we missed this thing too what in the tank we got going on in the front i got some hydraulics or something we got a set of axles that don't play i guarantee you that holy generator y'all see the size of that thing right there jeep what's that say torn torn something i don't know i can't see rear says what 230 no smoking uh, i guarantee you somebody smoked in this thing uh, let's see maximum permissible road speeds in the following gear positions allegedly she could do all the way up to 60 this thing got aired up tires yeah i got a hitch all the c10 huh Got the old coffin lights on her. Oh yeah, there is a trike hit up in here with coffin lights. You damn right. Look at them custom fenders. That's mud tires on the back, sir. <laughs> hey, what we got going on here? Will it run? Dang old forklifts have more style than the new cars do. Pretty sweet. All right, we kind of explored a little junk here. We seem to have missed last time. Now, sir Mordecus. They also said if there was any slots on some C10s, they'd be interested. Uh, so we're gonna make them back, make our way over to the C10 Valley and see if we can uh, find some slots or not. <laughs> Pretty decent little mud hole right there next to old okra rig i didn't come over here and look last time got one slot two slot 
three slot, four. All the slots everywhere, craggers and more. Damn grandpa saw blades. We got every every wheel you could ever want. Uh, now y'all know wagon wheel. Y'all think I'm lying. <laughs> Mortsky wants the slicks or the slots. We'll get them the slots. Slick, I'll grab this one. You grab the other three. Okay. <laughs> this is Krager. Krager. There you go. Mm -hmm. Meet SEMA spec. Oh, she's ready for the SEMA. <laughs> Uh, on the roof? Yeah, I'd say put her in the parks bin. <laughs> Give a damn about these valve covers. Just don't don't scratch my spindles. Between them valve covers and these, we'll definitely get them to come down. Just start whistling diesel and everything. It's like if more don't come down, we're going to crush these slots. <laughs> <laughs> I'll roll the valve covers over with the tow roller. <laughs> <laughs> you better come get your wheels. The valve covers are going to get it. Hey, bear come stop by and tell my girls hi before they kick his ass. Oh, they, they upset at him too? <laughs> yeah, they're mad at him. All he does is piss people off. Oh! That knee's new. <laughs> I ain't as tough as Jimmy Warner, so them nuts are actually hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all seen the thing where we went parts picking down back, me and my dad on the second channel? I just smoked some freaking nuts. They were literally steaming hot. It was like 90 degrees outside, just smoking, and that's just handling them like nothing. Now it went on. Oh, yeah. Grandpa saw blade for the win. Sure, after seeing that power steering reservoir, that's a, that's a round around truck. Somebody, oh, that's round around. Truck. She's going to have a hog ass cam in her. <laughs> Got one of them mother thumper cams yeah. in her. <laughs> Dude, these slots look like they're in damn good shape. Yeah, they're like perfect. Super nice. There's no chunks out of nothing. Yep. Mine are big crap out of them. I have to sand the crap out of them. We'll just keep them then. Yeah, he don't need them. Hell with them. <laughs> we have a C10 too. Oh, when's the last time you seen Yoohoo in a can? Yoohoo in a can right there. Make, go for one of those right now. You gotta talk real old school. Who remembers Chocolate Soldier? The glass bottle with the little Chocolate Soldier on it? Classic. Damn right. Now, if y'all think I look lazy sitting here making him work, I'm training him to use power tools, okay? So I was like, you do one whole truck with power tools, you'll never want to do it with by hand again. I ain't trying to change man yet. <laughs> I got two. I got one more take off. Yep. Have to give her the donkey kick. Well, it's just that tire's all messed up. So. Now, if you want to talk about someone who had exquisite taste, Notice the dime white and the steel wheel. Everyone's gonna comment and be like, that's a rally. Don't matter, steel wheel. She's got the Gas Rider LTs. Featuring velocity sensitive something. She used to ride like a damned old Cadillac. Cowboy Cadillac. <laughs> yeah, something like that. So these are actually kind of interesting because as you see, they got that like, I don't know, mag looking slot whatever outside aluminum wheel but you see that lip that's a steel wheel you flip her over and the outer ring is steel on this if you don't believe me i keep that in my front pocket looky there which i mean like the rust didn't give it away but that's kind of interesting these wheels might be some rare birds like them old valve covers what do you think slick rare bird rare bird she popped back yeah she will I thought she had a custom breather lid for a second. Uh, we're gonna go ditch this. We almost got his wheel in the, the old mud there. That would have been a shame. We barely missed. Oh yeah, you're only supposed to put two on the hood, one on the trunk, I forgot. You can get out that way. Slick just asked me to be easy on his old truck there. <laughs> Keep them safe. Got our parts unloaded. You know, it's better than a gas station pizza. Four hour old gas station pizza. Here's where we get stuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's who we're here to see. 
fairly certain I felt the ground hit the bottom of the car. That crap was deep. For sure hit the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your eyes got big for a second, like overstuck. I felt it on my feet come up. <laughs> <laughs> no blue here. Crank no start. We'll fix that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. In the last video, once we seen the custom power steering reservoir, the long tubers, well, more so wire separators, we knew she'd probably want to run for us. If she runs, how disappointed are you going to be if they ain't got a big ass cam in it? Pretty upset, honestly. This is uh, right here. Definitely a roundy round owner. Yeah, he's seen a roundy round track or two. And this, this is probably push start the roundy round cars. That's what makes way more sense. Nope. Just like last time, never tight. That battery sounded weak. Get the old red top in here. Yeah, that old red top better crank this V8 better than it crank that little Courier. I'm going to show you how to do it with a damn Datsun battery. <laughs> <laughs> is that our positive? It's got some weird crap going on. See, this is the ground. Okay. Our ground is uh, stripped here where it's always ready to, you know, where you can always add to it. And, uh, yeah, we try to keep that corrosion out of there with a little silicone, a little clear caulk, but uh, that did not do us any good, did it? Didn't find the key, but I found the old JVC. <laughs> oh, get your favorite mix. Mix burnt CD. I guess it ain't a mixtape. Burn, burn you a CD and hit the boulevard. Ready for the old brick house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we getting kicked out after we cut a rug. You getting kicked out once there. <laughs> you out now. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna end that story right there. That's exactly how it went too. <laughs> Point out you too. Uh, she does not have an inlet. All right, so we're not gonna hook her up to the fuel pump. But fuel pumps are overrated. Look like the rats uh, gave us a little cheater help there. I'm gonna try to just put that there. Maybe we'll get lucky enough. Maybe we won't. That reach over there, slick. You know, pull that old chrome dipstick unit. Just curious if it has any. Not hardly. Not hardly. Oh, stupid. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's just the wrong dipstick. It's probably a plumb full. Oh, she's in gear, guys. Uh, you usually want to check if it's in gear before you try cranking on it. And she's stuck in gear. Give her, give her a yank. Yank. Just treat it like that old bumper over there and yank. Just gotta let know who's boss slick. Oh, if she sounds like she's knocking, she's not. She's got a little heater hose or something in the fan up there. I'll try. Yeah, there we go. Let's keep that cord out of there before we tangle it up. <laughs> Them rats did us a solid right there. I know. You know what that sound is? <laughs> no compression. Yeah. <laughs> We want to test spark, but obviously we ain't going to have none until we get some power to that old HEI up there. So if you pull on the old HEI wire, someone was trying to give this a rig job. Now that's definitely a piece of wire from an extension cord, 1000%. And uh, someone's already got that fixed up for us. Now do we look like half-assers? We ain't half-assing nothing. We're going to at least taper up. Let's see. Hell, that's why it won't run. They did the Pot County twist wrong. Too much slack, guys. You gotta start at the bottom and give her the twist. All that, you're just wasting. Every expert knows you just fold that back. That's gonna hold it to itself. You come through with a good tight wrap because we don't want no uh, sparking and arcing as our little extension cord wire bounces around. We just get her clipped in with the old uh, cheater clip switch, whatever. How many pot count ends does it take to rig up a HEI? Just a couple. Just a couple. I can't see. I can't get over this damn bumper. Pop in there. We're going to start with checking our clip up there where we're giving it 12 volts because that looks crooked as all get out. Uh, that bumper sounded like it's going to fall off. Oh, God bless. I almost went. <laughs> Them old weak hands got strong in that life or death situation. <laughs> <laughs> you can see what i mean there now this side's your tack this side's battery 12 volts but i don't know maybe it is on there good that definitely went up in there way further and that clip back there i took her on and off a couple times just to try to 
maybe give her a slight better connection. She's sparking. It's fairly weak. I just set something on fire. I hope that caught that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take the uh, I'm gonna take the spark tester and just open up that, and we're just gonna send some fuel down it and see what happens. A little. I'm not surprised. I, I think, I honestly think that little clip over there come undone so it wasn't getting 12 volts to the actual uh, coil and everything, uh, module and all that crap in there. But I am disappointed because this thing should have been going glump, 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 and it wasn't. Nope, she ain't got no cam in her. It's hard to say, but I put horse shit because she'll run. He's got a huge exhaust leak. Barely. I definitely ate a rat turd. 100%. <laughs> Slick, we're gonna have to find something that's a challenge. <laughs> Looks right next door at the old rat, rat infested one. <laughs> mm. Guys, look who it is! Kenny's Classics. Kenny's Classics. Kenny, man, how are you? Hold on, how you doing, bud? I'm gonna just give you a hug. It's good to see you. If y'all didn't know, like, over a year ago when we did the two-car rescue, uh, Kenny was there. He, he bought one of them from us, and he just popped up. You don't even live close to here, do you? No. You're a good hour or something away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, guys, what a spot to run into someone you know. <laughs> Treasure hunt day, baby. Oh, yeah. You come to get that rivy, huh? <laughs> didn't you i was looking at it I, I didn't even know it was here oh yeah it's here you better go look at it sweet how's it going Ray? what's going on kenny nice to meet you well now that we got someone who wants to crawl underneath these cars kenny <laughs> <laughs> guys we ain't getting nothing out of this starter man i can't believe you just showed up here that's like you just made my day that's crazy have you been out here before yeah oh really yeah, this, must, this, this is this is this is kind of old spot you know yeah. you gotta go gotta check and see if there's any bait out here yeah you know? that's true. yeah no sammy keeps stuff coming in and out yeah he do uh-huh oh well guys it don't even act like it's trying so i don't know if we've just got bad connection if uh well obviously there's a bad connection somewhere look right down there there ain't no starter in this rig them your damn junkyard shoes well for today hey this old armadillo ain't scared he's like these are my trucks get out of here never seen yeah so fast. if that thing would have come at me i would have screamed and ran <laughs> <laughs> man oh man guys we left off yesterday right in here uh she ain't gonna run without a starter she was locked up if it wasn't locked up we're gonna find a starter anyhow i started BSing with Kenny. It was good to see him. Uh, Sammy's son Heath was over here. We were all hanging out. Everything just kind of got scattered. So I called her quits right there. And I got a hold of Sammy this morning and I told him I'd take this bedside and I just pulled up over here and uh there's her bedside. They've already pulled this sucker. Look at it. Well she was a decent truck while she lasted anyhow. I guess we're gonna have to fix that old jalopy we got for free at the other place since we got us a good bedside. Yeah, and that bedside's kind of whooped on, and she's got some rust, so she ain't perfect. Uh, I don't feel so bad about it now. Now, Slick got to wandering in the woods back in here, and he found him a boat yesterday. And by him a boat, I mean maybe Brandon a boat, because Brandon's the damn boat whisperer. It's got a hole in it. But probably still fixable, so... <laughs> I'm not scared of it. <laughs> it's got a hole. Don't worry about that. You don't... Holes are fine in boats. Yeah. 
I tried to turn it into a fan boat yesterday. <laughs> so we may do a rescue video. I think we'll end up coming back out here at some point. We could probably move that tank, that truck, and get it out of here pretty easy. Yeah. Found us a couple more boats up in here. We started having so much fun messing with uh, them little wheelet runs and everything yesterday. I didn't finish pulling all the parts I wanted, and I definitely want to gather some steel wheels. I was going to see if I could find one more little factory ranger header, and then uh, the Lodestar. I got to decide what I want to do with that thing, whether I want to try to get the whole cab. Someone's honking at us. Get the whole cab or uh, strip some parts off of it or whatever. Yep, 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 yep. That precision. <laughs> Give her the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised how well it did. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Bedside Rescues. Number one hit show where we pop ratchet straps and ding up our bedsides. <laughs> She'll clear. Yep. Now we're not rookies, guys. Simply take the leftover strap, wrap her through there, and bring it back here for some stabilization in this old bed swinging situation. <laughs> what happened? Hopefully our uh, straight bedside's still straight. We didn't quite make it to the mud pit where I had the camera before we had our first light mishap. <laughs> we got lucky. Uh, we may put a little mud on our trim, but she didn't get tore up any. Uh, ironically, you know what just broke? Safety latch. <laughs> Nothing safe about that. to the pile uh i don't know if we actually said it or not yesterday slick slick wants this truck so we're getting it all right so that's why we keep gathering everything over here lodestar and stillies uh i'm on the stilly hunt so we got to do one and then the other so i need a good fender for mine uh man this thing's in really good shape i was like super duper hate the fact that it's red <laughs> i wish it was a cool color besides red uh, I need running boards and stuff. Uh, I didn't realize we had trees growing underneath this one. So we either got to have a chainsaw or his big loader to get this thing picked up. I don't know, guys. I was going to rob all the parts off of this one. But I may see if maybe they're interested in dragging it out with the loader. And he wanted the bed on it. So maybe we can get them to just cut the body off. And then we just pick the body up as one big, one big piece where we have all of our extra parts. Instead of having patina, and this one's pretty nice. It wouldn't take much to get this thing ready for a paint job. Ah, damn it. Running board smashed. Yeah, that running board's better shape anyhow. She does have a little damage. Uh, I don't know, guys. I think we gotta have some, some dwelling time on this thing. We gotta have time to think about her. Sometimes you gotta try them on for size, too, and see how they fit. Man, talk about a steering wheel. Got your old shifter right there on the dash. That way you can speed shift. And she used to be federal property. Will she be our property? Maybe one day. I uh, think we got to do a little brainstorming here. So right here is exactly what we're looking for. This is uh, off a heavy half ton for 88 to 98. And uh, most people don't know this is exactly what's on my travel all. I just made them international caps fit it 
Uh, so if we get this, we've got us a matching spare. And everyone knows it's essential that your spare matches. Uh, you know it's essential also? You gotta have a jack if you wanna jack up a truck. And you gotta have a working can of Luby Dooby. You're gonna spray it. I may have forgot the jack over there underneath Slick's truck. So, we'll be back in a second. Or the transport or whatever the hell they're called. Just don't fall on me. Speaking of rare bird, that's a rare bird right there. It took me forever to find one. Coming down. That goes against everything I know in life. <laughs> Brandon's like a hardcore sheet metal guy, and I'm like, just throw it on the hood. <laughs> Me. Uh, you work here now, Kenny, or what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you employed? <laughs> Damn sandstone wall right there. Yeah. Yeah. Chill, mine. Now, one of these, we had a spare in the back of one of these Tahoes or something. See, we've got a shelf right here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We finally hit something steep enough to pop off the old push tire. <laughs> hey, she's been holding on like a trooper. It was plumb full of mud and water. You know what happens when it falls off there, right? <laughs> I totally did that just to mess with him because when the dent popped out a minute ago, he was so excited. <laughs> I knew it was in the back of one of these. Right there, that's the, that's the stilly we're looking for. Oh yeah, I thought she was a decent spare. So you take that old carpet off. She has slight wear, a couple miles on her. She's in tip top shape. Heath keeps hanging out with us. We're gonna make him carry it. I'll carry it. Where are we carrying it to? Torola. Right. I got the work shirt on today. Damn right. Where are we putting it at? Anywhere it'll fit. That's the best looking shirt I've seen in a while. If y'all want one of them, they're available at www.puddingsfabshop.com. So that's what we're after. I think I've seen one already up by the office. Boom! Brandon's got the damn eagle eye out. Spotted that one. Guys, I'm spoiled right now. Brandon finds them, Heath lifts them. What if I could put it on top? Don't get that pretty shirt dirty. You can throw it on the back if you want. Oh, right down the belly. That's good for you. Yeah, it's it dry. Oh, yeah. There's two. I already have one at the house, so we just gotta find one more. I didn't know if you found one or if it fell off the yeah, back. I found one. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> what do they call that? Flexing, <laughs> on, flexing on my haters? Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, thanks to Brandon spotting them all, we got three. And thanks to Heath for throwing them around, I didn't even have to get dirty. The old piles are growing. I'm scratch my paint. <laughs> Drag that across the hood. <laughs> hey, if you find it, it looks like a header that don't play no games. Uh, even if we don't find it, look at this thing. She is, uh, she's going home with us just because she'll look good sitting on the shelf. Put her in the park bin. Slightly missing. She's got a cast manifold on her. I don't think that's it. Another big block right there. We may have found the only one out here last time. I, those things are rear birds. Oh, there it is right there. It's just way down in there. There's that rare bird. Look way down there. That, that exhaust has been cut before. So maybe if we move the old 19,000 coil wires out the way, we can get them fairly easy and whoop, right off the top. 
with the right extension combo we may get up underneath there oh gotta get the old adapter kit we're gonna see if the old uh half inch drive here can motivate most of them off there nope oh yeah she's spinning oh yeah they ain't gonna fight us too bad i don't think guys just being a little ornery but boom i bet after that that old half inch drive will motivate it clean off there she even powered through them rusty nuts on that old stud that's because she is a stud oh yeah that's our last one right there no you haven't got these ones yet oh just playing guys once you take those first nuts off there's another set waiting for you well, we're gonna take that old milwaukee flathead edition and get the old sucker tube off i've never seen nothing like that pull the dam oh yeah she comes right off you keep that no nope. <laughs> I don't know why Milwaukee ain't paying me for advertisement. Has nothing to do with that yellow bag full of yellow tools. I'm all about equal opportunity. <laughs> Brandon requested a sawzall, so I got one. Oh, damn O2 sensor. Get you every time. There, we can keep it like that, too. Yep. That's basically a good pigtail. Yep, splice that back in. I got one of them last time. I kind of owe Uncle Rick one, so now we got a spare one for us, one for him. And guys, I think that's all I'm going to pull today. And then today, or not today, tomorrow, uh, we're going to come back out in the morning with travel on trailer where we can get Slick's truck and all of our goodies that we've gathered up over there. I messed up, guys. And I messed up because uh, I did not get the trailer from back here yesterday and it rained again. And uh, I told Travel all, it likes to get stuck back here. So we're gonna hope the tow roller can get it out. And uh, if y'all thought that old crane and bedside was making it rub, oh, just wait, just wait. <laughs> Custom 30. <laughs> She's custom, all right. Kind of a pile. Come on, baby. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's how you remove an exhaust, guys. down we're kind of going slots in the travel all maybe a couple in there and uh you know she hardly has a floor in her so just pile all your stuff in there that makes sense that's <laughs> yeah, all the floor yeah. oh she's got good plug wires anyhow yeah. i guess we didn't really show too much of this truck but she's got her issues you know little house carpet uh, she used to be fancy and have the air conditioning she's pretty rough but slick says he'll fix it so we'll take it she got a cherry roof on her yeah not bad except for the antenna used she's, to be but she's getting antenna again, so. there we go all right she's got a good roof anyhow oh, i thought we were doing a mock cut oh are we <laughs> <laughs> got her all loaded down we got more colorful damn stripes than that old <laughs> chewing gum <laughs> those stripes chewing gum had to slap a little more air in the back to get that four lincoln coil spring suspension happy and we're ready to go she's ready to tow and if you did it now you know that's another one saved slick well the good news is we made it 
Guys, we're just gonna ditch the trailer real quick. I got some other wheels and tires we gotta go pick up. And uh, yeah, I ain't gonna bring you along for that. They had a good little time out in the junkyard. Uh, you know, got slick, little future project. Got old Mortsky a couple parts. Hell, we even, we treated ourselves here, guys. We got ourselves a little parts as well. Uh, if you wanna get yourself a little something, <laughs> You can head on over to www.puttinsafeshop.com where we got all that good merchandise. That was smooth. I didn't plan that. That just flowed, okay? So you just got to let it flow sometimes. I appreciate you guys watching. I uh, hope you had fun in the salvage yard. Little will it run action, parts picking, truck sna snatching action. Snatching action. Say that three times fast. Uh, you can't. One thing you can say is uh, sitting on your ass won't finish your project. Speaking of project. <laughs>